Hey, what is up, guys and gals? Julian RH15 here, back in with another video. Today, I'm gonna have my thoughts about the alpha of Modern Warfare. I know the beta is coming out really soon, actually. So, this is just my opinion on how it is right now with the gunfight 2v2 mode and the other mode that came out for the alpha. For the time I spent playing this game, I had a fun time with it. I played with my cousins, I played with my friends. It's pretty hype. For the gunfight mode, it's okay. Uh, of course, beta is still coming out soon, so it's, it might change then. But for right now, the guns, the maps, well, for the 2v2 part, it's okay. It's standard for Call of Duty. I think it's not it's not bad, per se. I mean, I have my gripes with a few maps, of course, in the 2v2 mode. But overall, I think it's still a fun experience. I like that each, like, two rounds, you get a new weapon, so it's the same. Uh, fair game for each side. I'm doing this without a script. I'm sorry. It's off the top of my head So I think it's a fair game. I like it so far Like I said the game is very good But there's some new additions that I disagree with and some additions I like like for the good part You can type in chat to your team to your party to the lobby to talk like game plan or trash I think that's gonna be very interesting uh, cross-platform it looks like it will be available, maybe not for the beta, but it could happen. I really don't know if the beta is going to come at the same time as Xbox. Uh, what's another good thing? Uh, you can turn off motion blur. I don't know why it's even on in the first place, but I'm glad you can turn it off at least. Uh, bad thing I have about this, though, uh, is in the options menu, you can switch your aim assist. Uh, why is there uh, a better aim assist than the aim assist you already give us? What, what's wrong with that? You're making people who are not that good at the game better due to switching your aim assist to enhance and better. I don't understand why someone will choose that as an option or whoever made that as an option, my bad, in a game where it's really focused on aim because these guns, these guns have power for recoil. Like, it doesn't go overboard with the recoil, but these guns have recoil. And the fact that you can switch your aim assist to fix that recoil issue is a problem to me. Because I like the guns in this game. I really do. My favorite gun is the Desert Eagle. Yeah, I think it honestly is the best gun in the game. Due, due to being the Desert Eagle and how fun it is to use it. I think it's really fun to use. I love the Desert Eagle from COD 4. I love the Desert Eagle now. Alright, I'm going to say this again. I love the Desert Eagle. I love the Desert Eagle in Call of Duty 4 and I love the Desert Eagle now. It's amazing. I'm going to stop talking about the Desert Eagle for right now. Uh, maps. I said this before. It's fine. 2v2. Uh, I like that small and compact, which it should be, honestly. We should not be getting full, large maps for 2v2. That would just be weird. And I heard there's also going to be new modes for 2v2, which is pretty cool. I like the the new additions they're adding to this 2v2 mode, because I think it's going to be a really, really a lot of fun. And if they make this competitive, then go for it. It's probably probably be a good mode, honestly, in, to stay here in Modern Warfare and maybe other COD games in the future. They also brought in new mechanics, which I think is pretty cool. They sort of brought back leaning in a way, but now you can do it on boxes and around corners. And it will, it will reduce your recoil a bit. Uh, your aim will be d definitely better than it is with, you know, without leaning against the wall. I like that feature a lot. And the animations in this game feel smooth. Uh, I saw this interview with this guy who does all the animations, and he feels like the shotgun is the best. I think so as well. Uh, all these guns look amazing. Uh, in this engine they're using. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I like the animations. I give it an A+, plus, honestly. Not, I mean, every Call of Duty game has really good animations. I won't even lie. But this one is perfect, I think. This is, like, the best-looking animation, I think, for Call of Duty ever. So, yeah, that's really all I gotta say for the alpha for Modern Warfare. Like I said, beta, September 12th. Maybe cross-platform or not in the beta. I don't know. That would be pretty cool, though. So all I gotta say for Modern Warfare for right now, wait for the beta. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe for more. Peace to peaceful people, and goodbye. When you're alone, life can be a little rough. It makes you feel like you're three foot tall. When it's just you, 